When you think of exoskeletons, several things might come to mind. To me, those things are science fiction, crazy military research, and medical rehabilitation in roughly that order. However, exoskeletons focused on the consumer markets to enhance hobby level sport and fitness seem to land firmly in that first science fiction category, and yet for the past couple of weeks I have been testing a late prototype set of, well, robot legs. The Sportsmate 5 uses artificial intelligence to provide natural assistance and resistance through an exoskeleton attached to your hips and legs, and it's not some mad future mock-up that will never come to be, either. The late prototype version is more or less what you'll be getting when it comes to Kickstarter in October 2021. Is the era of personal robotic assistance finally here, or is the Sportsmate 5 a niche device packaged as a consumer product? My name is Ian, and in this Make Use of Review, I'm hoping to find out. Because, yeah, this is... because this is... this is weird. This is genuinely one of the weirdest feelings. Now, a couple of things right off the bat. Why should you care what a tech blogger thinks about an exoskeleton? That's a good question. I'm not a qualified exoskeleton reviewer, but good luck finding one of those working for a tech website or anywhere. Um, I am someone who knows a little bit about embedded tech, enough to roughly know what's going on under the hood here, but honestly, that's not all that important either. This is a consumer device aimed at people into fitness, both by adding resistance and assistance where necessary. I am a runner who uses bodyweight resistance work as part of my training, and my most recent training was for an ultramarathon I completed yesterday, 55 kilometers on the pavement. To say that my legs are mince is an understatement. So I may not be a qualified roboticist, but as someone who genuinely needed help climbing the two flights of steps to the studio today, I can confirm right off the bat that the Sportsmate 5 is no scam. It genuinely provides assistance, especially on stairs, and the timing of this review could not have been better in that respect. It isn't without its quirks, however, and the reported launch price of $899 isn't all that cheap either. But first, the basics. The Sportsmate 5 attaches to your waist via an inflating strap, with two high-performance servos attached to thigh straps via linked metal connectors. These metal shafts are rigid in one plane but move quite freely in others, allowing the motors to provide forward and rear driving motions while allowing for some sideways leg movements too. The straps are strong, not dissimilar to the type used in various medical settings, and the general fit of the device is fairly comfortable, at least at first. Um, after the initial fitting, which can be done alone, a button on the underside triggers the inflation pump and you are ready to go. One side has a power and mode switch, which is for either assistance or resistance mode, and the other side has the activation button and a dial for how much help or hindrance is produced. The battery pack clips into the back and provides around three hours of use, though this of course will vary with the level of assistance or resistance you choose. There is a charger in the box, which is actually a bit of an odd fit, but that's probably down to the prototype nature of this version, and that's about it. For something so futuristic, it was pretty simple to get up and running with. So, the important question, does it work? Well, yes, surprisingly well, in fact. In terms of what it feels like to use... <laughs> That's the weirdest thing. It's an odd feeling, it's hard to describe. Your legs do move in ways you're not expecting, but it is worth noting that if you don't move, the sportsmate doesn't either. There's no Wallace and Gromit-esque wrong trouser shenanigans to be had here. It uses the encoders on the motors to sense your movement and assist it, rather than forcing you to move at its pace. If you've ridden an electric bike, you'll know this feeling already. It's an extension of your own body's power. In a similar vein, if you slow down and your legs start to move in smaller strides, the sports mate mimics this too. It's a very natural feeling, and one that can only get more natural as the AI model learns your gait. Most of the footage from this review is from that first day of use, and on that day I walked, ran, did various forms of exercise on the hills and on the flat in my local park. I've since tested it using the fitness guide provided by Enhanced Robotics, and as I previously mentioned, found it indispensable to do something as simple as get up the stairs on completely destroyed legs. Now, uh, let's go through the features. Assistance mode, as the name might suggest, assists you. It works in two directions. The first is positive assistance, which is the most intuitive. It gives four levels of forward assistance, literally helping you to pull the leg up and forwards when you start to move it. There's definitely a moment you feel the actuators take over from your initial movement, which is a bit odd, but it does feel controlled. Both walking and running in this mode felt fairly, but not completely natural. The biggest difference for me, actually, was uh, the long stretches of going upstairs and running uphill. Uh, I do those things every day, and the difference felt quite substantial. There is also a negative assistance mode. Uh, this is accessible by turning the assistance down until the white meter starts to fill up in red instead. This mode is designed to either make walking or jogging harder as light resistance training, or take some of the burden away from going downstairs and hills. This was the only mode I didn't feel any real benefit from. 
While the pushback may have had some positive effects, the overall feeling of having anything change your perception of balance while moving downward is a little bit unnerving. And when I tried negative assistance while running downhill, it was downright terrifying. Okay, that is genuinely terrifying. <laughs> that looks weird as <laughs> The fitness mode, accessible via the mode button, adds resistance instead. This is designed to make certain movements harder and to complement a bodyweight fitness regime in a way that simply adding a weight belt or other accessory might not be able to do. Here the white and red indicator lights denote pushing or pulling resistance and Enhanced Robotics provides a fitness handbook to give ideas for what modes would fit what exercises. Surprisingly this was the most useful aspect of the Sportsmate 5 for me. As someone who struggles with hip related injuries it was a very targeted way to add some angular resistance to my training in a way that again weights don't really do. But now, as far as the settings go, that's it. Four modes of operation, each of which will theoretically learn your movement over time and improve the way they interact with you. If it was learning my movements, I didn't really notice it much over the course of this review. Perhaps I didn't use it for long enough, or perhaps I just didn't notice it subtly getting smoother as it got used to me as much as I was getting used to it. Movement is generally smooth. You can walk in it easily when it is off, but it does get uncomfortable and feel heavy after a little while. The user experience is mixed in that regard really. It does feel surprisingly natural to use, but there's no escaping the 3.8 kilograms hanging off you. It did get uncomfortable, heavy on the hips, tighter on the legs, but then again I had them on for the best part of half a day, and there isn't really anything you can do about gravity. This is also a known issue. This prototype is a prototype and the team behind it have noted that they're hoping to improve on the weight before the Kickstarter. The plans are apparently to reduce that weight down to 2.5 kilograms along with a couple of other things. One of those things is uh, the motor sound, which we'll get onto in a moment. But anyway, the range of motion sound isn't too limited for the prototyping. For the prototype version, I found most exercises easy to do. I was even able to jump up onto small objects, even though it did feel a bit cumbersome. Enhanced Robotics also cite motor noise as an issue, but to be honest, I never really even noticed the motor sounds during this review. Um, if you're using it in the same room as someone sleeping, maybe you'd have a problem, but attaching the metal leg clips is probably louder than the, metal, uh, the motor sounds. Um, but that is supposed to be an improvement. So these are fairly small, but in a way significant issues. The weight being one thing, if you're using the Sportsmate, you can't use your pockets. I mean, you can't get your hands in. If you did manage to slide your phone in as I did, it's probably going to get crunched. But as I also said at the top of this review, I'm, I'm, I'm no expert, but I can guess that this is a limitation of this kind of exoskeleton and not a failing of this particular exoskeleton, which is not a sentence I expected to say today at all. So is the Sportsmate 5 a worthwhile consumer fitness device to consider? Well, actually, yes. Cutting edge consumer tech should be judged on what it can actually do, rather than the wow factor of its tech. And for an AI powered fitness exoskeleton, the Sportsmate 5 is rare, fairly understated. No monthly subscription or slick advertising campaigns, no high fives, kudos or social media infused apps, just a solid set of robotic legs that does what you expect of it and nothing more. The $899 reported price tag is high, but not that high. If you consider that more or less every claim Enhanced Robotics has made about this is true, it becomes an expensive but viable thing. This is especially true when compared to the legions of sports aids that actually don't do anything but claim magical pseudoscience makes them special in some unknown way or other. I would argue that the Sportsmate 5 is actually the special one. While it isn't perfect, it gets uncomfortable after a short while, the battery life is only suitable for short outdoor use, there are things that are wrong with it, it is exactly what it claims to be, the first consumer exoskeleton for hiking and fitness. This technology is going to take off in a big way soon, and as a product right on the forefront, Enhanced Robotics has made something very special indeed. Much like VR is going through an interactive, consumer-driven slow-motion explosion, personal robotics is also improving in a way that will make it mainstream sooner than most people think. If you want to be on the crest of this wave, this is where you get on. So, if you would like to know more about this review, you can find a written version with a few more specs and a link to the Kickstarter when it goes live. That'll all be in the description of the video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time.